Hey guys, Cosmos here from Kabam Server for Europe and I'm going to be speaking a little bit about and explaining a little bit about clothing identification and refinement from my mage account. So here you see I got my mage here a level 59. Bell rating is up actually at 78708. Nice number, uh, but that is also with the academy blessing of 195%. So maybe 79ish she is now. And of course, um, when I enter different rooms, it'll be higher because of the card system. So that's just a few words about my mage. Now, back to the point on clothing identification and refinement. Um, so especially for those who don't know, the clothing identif identification costs a lot of gold uh, for um, non-cashers. Or people who are not putting um, cash into the game it is less of a problem because you have less clothes to identify but let's go to mine so the first thing I did was my helm uh, helmets or hats and um, being a, a casher with my mage here uh, I have a whole bunch of different um, clothings uh, or let's say hats or helmet types that I can identify and um, all of it costs a lot of gold and um, so first up maybe um, the clothings come uh, in different grades so you see if I scroll all the way to the last page here you got the big clo uh, the, the big grade clothings these were costing about 200,000 to identify and then you got the these are still the bees I wonder and it doesn't show anymore because it's already uh, identified and then you got um, now where are my C's? Don't, don't see that. You have A's here. Uh, you also have an S uh, for for uh, the most rare ones. But I think um, there is... Yeah, there is a D also. That's what I was looking for. There is a D also. And not a C. I, I don't um, particularly know... Oh, there is a C. There is a C. So um, you got the D, C, B, A... Um, and S going from the worst to the best in that order so um, the, the the weapons here um, so let's say for mage first you should do the helms uh, why because they give you um, they give you intelligence so you see if I hold my mouse over this one or any one doesn't matter uh, you see their identification uh, gives intellect plus 24 on this one and plus 32 on this one um, plus five on this, uh, so five rage and, and 24 intellect on this one, also 24 here, 32 here, uh, 16 here, and, and the lower grade you go, the lower they give. They are cheaper, and the cheaper ones have also a higher success rate. So, um, if I remember the, um, the D's and the C's, they have, um, I think it was 60% or so, very high success rate. So uh, with, let's say, less money, you can get them identified, but you also get very little, um, in, in comparatively speaking, very little benefit. So for example, this B helmet is giving six um, intellect, uh, whereas the A is giving um, eight. Now, on the first look, it doesn't um, seem like huge, but percentage-wise, it's a lot. And also, once you start refining them, um, it really uh, adds up. So you see, for example, this A is giving plus 8 just for being identified. Um, but once you refine it, let's say, to 3 stars, then you get 24. So, um, and there's a 4 star here at 32. So, um, for mages, you should uh, go with the, with the helm, uh, helms or hats or helmets. Um, the armors, they give defense. So um, they give armor and armor gives defense and armor and defense are the same things. Um, y you will maybe stumble upon those terms. They're exactly the same. They give physical defense and magic defense. Wings uh, are the uh, hit points or endurance, which gives uh, health or hit points. And uh, the weapon is uh, giving the, the physical attack, meaning the, the strength or power and um, that's for um, my mage will still probably um, as a kind of a very last thing will probably identify and refine um, at some point in the future also these because um, it's li just like in the guild skills uh, you, you also can do um, as a mage the 
the strength uh, because uh, you, you get one fourth of that as physical defense but this is like really the last priority so uh, for knights and archers they should really start with a weapon uh, then armor and then wings in that pri in that order and for uh, mages should go with helms um, armor and wings in that order so um, the less you have the less you have to spend money to identify of course and um, but when you get more more cl different clothing types you'll have to identify them so the, ident the identification like I said starts very cheap uh, on the lower grade clothing but it, it increases a lot so for example um, these wings over here they're S grade gl uh, glistening wings and they cost a million gold just to try to sorry just to try to identify them and you see the success rate is only 20 percent uh, these wings alone have eaten like i think 12 million gold already from me uh, without having uh, been identified and uh, you can say it's it's a matter of luck sometimes you click and it gets identified and sometimes it eats a lot but mostly on on uh, on the s grades um a lot of people have lost a lot of gold and it's not really um, something that you invest like on astrals you can't really lose gold because whatever you collect um you you can just build up on it uh, but here it's really wasted because you pay for it and if it fails uh, you get nothing so that's a that's a problem um now for the the helmets like i said i've done them first and you see here the summary my intellect is now plus 224 that's already huge compared to um known cashers who or like my knight has very small bonuses here uh compared to my mage but uh, this is also uh, very little compared to uh, the the high you know the top spending people who have like six plus 600 here uh for each uh, for each stat so um, because after identification comes refinement and uh, refinement costs fashion cores now same um, same based on grade you see if I hold the mouse on the big grade it costs me uh, three fashion cores to refine it further uh, if I go up to a grade it's gonna cost four and, and uh, if I go to s grade it's gonna cost um, where is s I can't see it here I can see it here on armor you can see it's gonna cost five so uh, also the fashion core cost so actually to just refine this uh, armor one time it, it uh, I need to pay uh, an equivalent of one wing because five fa fashion cores cost as much as one wing just to refine it and when you refine it um, it's also kind of based on luck you can get uh, a lot of stars or a few stars and um, normally the more you refine uh, basically you will you can build this up to five stars but um, generally speaking each time is random so you can go like three stars two stars four stars three stars so it can actually cost also a lot in fashion course to get this up and running so like two three attempts at least like you see here I have a four star and a three star um, and and sometimes it took one two and three I think I never did more than three um, attempts to to get something higher up so um, I have five million gold on me right now five and a half million so like I told you uh, those wings have already eaten a lot of my gold um, this armor was the one which ate another I think about eight million this one ate before it was refined uh, before it was identified um, and helmets uh, I don't have an S grade helmet and the only one left is this these wings um, then after that it's it's cheaper so you see on the big grades it's gonna cost 600,000 but 40 percent success rate so actually this cost is much less um, the the S grade costs not only uh, almost double but with half the success rate so actually it's, it costs quadruple so um, that's the big grades and the C grades here 400,000 gold with success rate 50% and the D grades will be less I think it was 200,000 um, with 60% success rate so um, 
since I have a 5 million I'm gonna try to identify this five times and maybe because I'm recording it I'll have some more luck with you guys wishing me some good luck and maybe it'll work otherwise uh, it's gonna be another 5 million wasted 3 million 4 million no no luck 5 million and you must not get angry I've already taught myself this so now this wing has eaten like a lot of millions from me and it still remains unidentified so normally uh, with 20% success rate uh, it's like 1 in 5 you know, so if you do it 5 times you should have it work but um, something is is um, is different here those those rates um, might be what they are but also they might not it's kind of like illusion uh, let me see if I have an illusion astral uh, somewhere here yeah so for example this illusion astral you can build this up to 10% for example um, and that means that one in every 10 hits has to um, has to dodge but it doesn't do that so um, sometimes these percentages are misleading and I think for clothing identification it is also um, similar because it, it's a kind of a gold sink they call it in, in games where you, it's it's made to kind of eat up all your gold type of thing but since everybody needs it um, everybody is spending the gold on it to get stronger and stronger so um, after this uh, these things are identified you can refine them let's see if I click on refine and then it's gonna call, ask you for the fashion course and you see it tells you that it'll replace the old stat it's not gonna um, automatically improve it so if I have three stars and I refine it it doesn't mean that for sure I'll get four or five it can easily go down as well so um, that's that so just explanation for you for the clothing and identification and the refinement and also then don't be upset um, the, the paying people or the cashers will uh, be an, um, after the implementation of this clothing identification system will be seriously a lot more stronger than uh, non cashers so that gap has been increased like it was already big and it's increased more so when when you find in battleground or whatever um, cashier players and they keep on killing you uh, just teach yourself not to be upset about it because it's just a totally different league you, you cannot almost cannot compete um, given given two players are at, at roughly like say um, you can look at my mage for example um, my mage is level 59 um, probably 98% of anybody um, around this level cannot beat me um, that's not because I am something special no it's just because a lot of money has been put into uh, into this character so he is uh, really strong for his level so um, and, and that's how cashers are usually um, they have a lot invested and and that's good also uh, you shouldn't get angry at cashers because um, they are the ones who are contributing money for the profits of the company and, and the company makes updates for the game and the free players can enjoy all those updates and new things so uh, everything has its place um, and, and I'm not here to judge I'm just explaining you the different things how the system works and uh, most importantly that you enjoy playing the game and not stress from it so um, that's it you guys uh, I hope that was useful for you if you have any questions put it down in the comments I'll try to answer uh, all the questions I just get a lot every day so uh, if, it, if the answer is late um, sorry um, and if it doesn't come just try asking again uh, it'll pop up on the radar so um, that's it you guys um, thanks for watching please do click on like and subscribe under the video uh, if you enjoyed it um, it always helps also helps if you guys share on on uh, Google Plus or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you're using um, and also check out my um, dollygames.com uh, gaming portal I got all um, like it's it's all centralized there now so um, all all the blogs and everything I have is going is linked from there so it's an easy kind of a um, um, easy point easy central point to to go anywhere else so and it's a short easy address 
for you guys to remember and I'll put it down in the description as well. And if you want to check out some of the games that Kabam has, they got tons of games, you can just go to kabam.com and you can see the list of all the games there are. If you if you want to play Wartune, just uh, Google Kabam Wartune. Or if you want to check out what else they got, if you're in the mood for something else, check that out as well. So that's it you guys, thanks for watching and have a very nice day.